everyone. Today, we are here at Chan Sports Warrella. I'm here with another special interview for our next magazine. I'm Sasha Kiriella from the media club book Amuthu Scott. So today we are interviewing a famous rugby player who is well known as the king of rugby in Sri Lanka. Swasil Morita show is here in Kandy. Swasil Morita going for a hat trick and he will get that. Am I not insane? Can you stop and explain why these drops are so lame? It's money buying you fame. I'm fucking on, I'm killing it with this song. You haters can sing along or go back. I born Fazilaya, I am in Randi. So engaging in a sport like rugby is very challenging yeah. So did you like rugby since your childhood? Yeah, uh, I used to love rugby from small days because uh, of my uncles and uh, my cousins. Everybody uh, played rugby in our home and school and play for play for the candy team and national team as well. So that's why how I started playing rugby. Thank you very much Fasil Laya. So when we say rugby, the first person that comes to our mind is you Fasil Laya. So can you tell us how did you enter this sport? Uh, like I said earlier, because of my family. Uh, so that's why I played rugby. Basically I didn't have a choice from small days. I have to play rugby because from my uncles to cousins and my brother, everybody played rugby. So I used to watch rugby from small days i don't know when so till now even my mother and aunt is still watches rugby uh, my club games uh, when i'm coaching now they come to watch so it's it's in our blood i guess thank you very much fasil yes those are two very interesting answers i don't fasil yes how did your family members support you to achieve your target so actually my mother used to help me a lot because of my father passed away when i was really little then in our house uh, like uh, all of the i think you will be surprised uh, we had like 20 30 people in one house so all the all the boys and uh, so we only talk about rugby we play rugby so everybody helped me to uh, achieve who i am today so especially my mother he helped me a lot to he didn't put pressure on me to uh, do this or do that i uh, i like uh, what i was doing is i i i i choose my path so i went 100% so and my mother helped me a lot so big thank to my mother uh, who i am today i want fasil yeah So I hear from my opinion rugby is not that famous among young generation than cricket. So what do you think about it? I think uh, my opinion is uh, maybe it will call 50-50. <laughs> so more crowd comes for rugby game than cricket. So more I think uh, I think those two sports are the more, most uh, like with the uh, school matches may rugby and cricket uh, i think these will go as 50 50 so but i go with rugby <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's so, fine it's yeah. understandable <laughs> thank you sir mm. so now rugby is a team sport as we all know so so you have been leading our national team for years so while you been leading our national team were there any hardships that you went through as a leader yes so first thing is as a captain you need to uh, make a mark like you have to lead from front so everything maybe fitness gym food whatever they do like you have to lead in front so others will follow that's the main thing i uh, did so i i have been example for all of our players so i'll be the first one to come last one to leave then in fitness i'm trying my best to be number one so everybody will follow so for me it's that's number one and uh, the main thing is uh, gelling the team together that's the main thing 
So we, I know when it's come to the national team, we have all the talents. But if we don't play as one team, there is no this thing. The so unity, is not unity yeah, number one is unity. If uh, uh, other guy made a mistake, I had to cover it up. So that is the unity. So that's 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 the main thing. So I, that's the main part of uh, a team. I yeah, like all good things come to an end. So. Yeah. How did you feel after your retirement? Yeah, uh, it was sad, but uh, I know I have given uh, all all in the field, so I, I didn't have any regrets for I, I played uh, 15 years of rugby for the national team. So you know, I started playing when I was 17, and uh, till uh, till I retired, I didn't have any regrets because uh, I gave 100%. Uh, uh, in the field and out of the field, so and uh, the last game was uh, at Nick Tevala. So at that game, I was lucky. I I scored three tries uh, in that game, so it was a memorable uh, last game. So can you tell us more about the last match? Yeah. So my last game against was uh, was heavy. So at that game. We played in Itola, that is uh, my home ground. So uh, that game, I scored three tries. Um, so those three tries were my. I was lucky enough to uh, score those three tries. That those three uh, tries were my signature tries. So the whole 15, 16 years of my career, those three tries like it's like a highlight of everything in one game in my last game so that was uh, that was my memorable match and soon after the game uh, i took my uh, daughter to the podium and uh, that was a little bit special for me and uh, he received uh, my medal so it was uh, very nice uh, and and very sad as well the uh, smiling individual has always uh, been uh, in the thick of things and this, uh, on behalf of uh, Candy Sports Club uh, supporters, uh, from then, now and from the present, a big thank you to Fazel Marija for his services. School time is a time that we all love. So Fasil Laya, can you tell us a little bit about your unforgettable experience during your school time? I have few unforgettable moments. First one is uh, when I was playing under 13. So coach told me uh, like I was too small. So he didn't put me to the, the bigger side because uh, he thought I would get injured. I was really small and thin. So I think I, I, I'm thanking him now because of uh, because of that, I might, I might quit rugby at that moment if I got injured. So one is that. The other thing is, in 2004, uh, I captained uh, Tinsud the uh, under-19 team, and uh, we won all the games, uh, including sevens, knockouts, all the tournaments. We didn't lose any games. So that year was the best uh, team uh, Tinsud College have uh, ever produced. So I'm. I'm really lucky to be part of uh, that team and captain uh, that team. So in uh, another thing, in 2003, uh, we were in the B Division uh, uh, League. So we won the B Division League and uh, we automatically qualified for the A Division uh, Knockout Trophy. So in that, uh, we won the Knockout Trophy as well uh, with the A Division team. So those are my unforgettable moments uh, in school rugby. That's an amazing achievement, Fazilaya. Thank you very much. Fazilaya, what are the most challenging games that you have played again? Yeah, um, I think the uh, most uh, challenging games are the international games. So I have played against New Zealand, Australia. Then uh, we have scored tries against them. But uh, it's very difficult to uh, play against them there because they are big and fast. And my memorable game will be uh, against uh, uh, Philippines uh, in uh, 
I, I think 2013 or 14. So till the last uh, whistle goes, we have lost the game. So last kickoffs, the ball came to me and I scored the try. So after that, we won the game. Uh, so that was my memorable uh, match uh, in my whole career. So Sri Lanka under pressure here. Marija gets clipped around the air and gets up and goes for it. Marija determined to win this game for Sri Lanka. And what pace he's showing. We haven't seen this sort of pace from Marija before he goes round the outside of Ollie Saunders and says, take that, the Philippines. Marija with a great captain's run there. Fantastic play from the Sevens veteran from Candy, Fadzil Marija. Most of the uh, New Zealand games uh, I have played against uh, in Hong Kong and Commonwealth Games. Uh, so it's a little bit tough. They are bigger, like I said earlier, they are bigger and faster. So uh, against Australia, and then we have scored, scored a few tries. Uh, so we have the speed, all the uh, Sri Lankan boys, but we don't have the power. So that's why we are lacking. So we are, we are trying to fix that uh, in our future. So hopefully we can beat uh, one of these teams uh, in future. Okay, anyways, I won a, yeah, I'm Hima Hastranga. So, one thing which has certainly changed from when you played is the rugby team. So, what are your views about it? Uh, the current team, by the way, they are touring uh, uh, England uh, Commonwealth Games. So, we have a pretty good team. They are playing after three years. So, uh, I hope. Uh, they will do better in this tournament, but like I said, uh, we have a tough tournament because we have a first game against New Zealand, then England, then Samoa. So we have a tough uh, uh, lineup. So hopefully they will do better, and uh, so we are targeting next year, I think, uh, Asian Games. So we have a medal prospect uh, in that tournament. So we were close when the last time we came. So we had had a medal at that time but unfortunately last minute we lost the game so hopefully with, with this team I think uh, we can uh, achieve something uh, in uh, Asian games definitely a yeah, medal okay so Fazila you spoke about the Commonwealth Games and the players who are playing in the Sri Lankan team currently majority of them are from the Kandyan Sports Club and you at the head coach. Yeah. So, how do you feel about it? So, uh, those, those players deserve to be in that team because uh, they work really hard uh, on and off the field. So, I have, uh, I have seen them uh, playing, training. So, so they deserve to play uh, in the national team. So, that's I think that's a big difference between other clubs and uh, Candies. Uh, the players, uh, they give a little bit extra. Mm, in the yeah. in, uh, practice and uh, in the match, and they don't want to lose. So that's the main thing about candy players, uh, they don't want to lose. So that mentality is there. So that's why we always uh, win most of the time in candy. Thank you, Arya. So obviously your hard work and dedication leads to a good result and always success. So now, of course, you've worked so hard for this. How did you feel when you were awarded the title King of Rugby? <laughs> I don't know about King of Rugby, but uh, I played my best uh, rugby whenever I can. Uh, because my main thing is uh, not in the game, it's because uh, when I'm practicing, I practice like a game. So that's my secret. So I played every day as a game. So when I come to the games, it's just a, I feel like it's just a normal practice session. So I have played so many games during this season. So maybe, maybe, that's why maybe I have played well. And <laughs> okay, so we'll call you the king of rugby at <laughs> the end. Yeah. Well, Aya, it has been an amazing time interviewing you. Uh, to be honest, I didn't really find rugby very much, but talking to you made it really, you know, sort of amazing. Not just the awards or something, but it was really amazing. Uh, my school, Kerry College, is also famous for rugby, pretty sure, as you know. <laughs> you played against it, I think what you said. 
And yes, it's been an honor interviewing you, Aya. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that's Hima Hasranbe and the Media Club signing out. Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks, everybody, and You're all welcome, the very best for your future. So, thank you. Thank you.